Kolmonovic Agaki was born in 1967, and he was into video games at a very young age. During his high school years, he made a Gundam and Zaku game with the help of his younger brother. His first job was pixel coloring. He graduated from its School of Law on March 1992, and after meeting a founder of game developing company, Itagaki decided to pursue a career in gaming. He began working at Tecmo as a graphics programmer on Tecmo Bowl that same year. At the time, Tecmo had a lot of deficits and was suffering financially. They were on a brink of bankruptcy. Itagaki then made a bold move by promising Tecmo's then president, Mr. Nakamura, that he will make a game that would sell to help revitalize the troubled Tecmo. Leaving no other choice, his boss decided to give it a shot, and that was how Dead or Alive came about, because it literally means Dead or Alive, referring to the fate of Tecmo. The Dead or Alive series sold well, and Itagaki climbed to the corporate ladder of Tecmo in the following years. After the success of Dare to Alive, Itagaki ascended to the leader of one of the creative departments of Tecmo's company, and started working on the first release of Ninja Gaiden, which is a side-scroll video game combination of action and adventure game that was released for Nintendo DS on March 2008. The game and his second release was another success in his career. Later, Itagaki will leave from Tecmo for different reasons and create his own studio called Valhalla Game Studio. The last game he works on was Devil Third, a third-person action shooter hack and slash, released for Wii. The game has from 8 to 10 hours of content and can be played by one or more players. 